Why hello there friends, it's Emma here, the bookish princess. Today we are checking into the Kronos Club level at the Grand Destino Tower at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. This video is quite overdue. It's actually from a trip that happened two years ago in early 2020 before the pandemic. Everything was closed, club levels were closed, so I just didn't get around to editing it. Uh, but club levels are open once again, so I thought it'd be fun to relive this stay at the Kronos Club level. I have actually done a video about Kronos Club previously that is more informational. This video is less informational and more just chatty vlog style, sharing my impressions of the resort. Um, this was my first time visiting uh, Grand Destino in person and it was so much fun to see. Hope you guys enjoy. random little area it looks like a um a meeting room a boardroom right time for dinner inspired by toledo spain's natural beauty and historical mystique the order of toledo look this is this table is for salvador dali louis bunel maria luisa gonzalez and rafael abelti yeah exactly this is where great thinkers think and sit, sit and think that. Is this Toledo? I've been to Toledo. In Spain, I took a bus tour and it took you out I've to see it. <laughs> You've been to Toledo. <laughs> You've been to Toledo. I've been to Toledo. Hi. But yeah, it's such a beautiful, the way it's like up, situated on the hill. Yeah, my friend was studying abroad in Toledo. And so I stayed with her and it was so much fun because she really knew our way away. She really knew her way around. So beautiful. El Greco. Oh, I'm surprised they don't have El Greco in here. He's from Toledo. And a very, like, very distinctive art style. Um, I think there were some statues. Actually, I can see El Greco fitting in here. Like, there's a little bit of an El Greco aesthetic. This resort has more lamps than Jasmine and Aladdin. I feel like we should rub them and maybe the genie will come out. So there's the beautiful entrance. 
with the wall of lanterns. We'll do a little 360 here. I like those walls. That is so cool. You know, when I first saw photos and videos, I kind of thought there were too many elements going on and it was like a little too glitzy. Like, I don't know, like those things looked maybe too shiny. It just reminded me of a Vegas hotel a little bit. Not in a good way. <laughs> but being here in person, I do feel different. Like it does feel like it all kind of coheres. I like the lighting. It's very bright and airy. These look classy in person, not glitzy. I do still think that Walt and Mickey over there don't quite mesh. Like, it's too unexpected. So you have some little seating off to the sides there with the mirrors. Those are very distinctive mirror walls, aren't they? Oh my gosh, I kind of want to recreate, recreate a mirror wall like that in my own room. But yeah, I really love that they took this Sal Salvador Dali cartoon that like was a Disney collaboration and like used it as, as inspiration, but I wish they like talked about it more because I'd never heard of that cartoon. I still haven't watched it. I don't know anything about it. And I feel like if they like explained it better, then like that lady on the wall wouldn't be so unexpected. You know? But it is beautiful. Gosh, look at this. There's the cool bar. Very nice. Stained glass. Yeah, I definitely feel like in person. I mean, the photos were always beautiful, but I feel like I like it better in person than I did in the photos. Oh wow, there's a boardroom back here. Or <laughs> does the boardroom refer to up? Because right up there is where that um, long table for table for Salvador Salvador Dali and his artist companions was right up there. So this is the Barcelona Lounge. We've gone from Toledo to Barcelona. Wow, I like these um, white stone insets and like this kind of ovally pattern is repeated, it feels like, outside. So cool. Restrooms down here. We've got some drinks there. Oh, I love these chairs. It's a really fun woven, you know what? There should be a hidden Mickey in here somewhere. I don't think there is, is there? The only problem is, when I bring my Kindle and my books down here, where are we gonna sit? Do we sit here? This looks fun, oh, I like that little table. That's fun. Do we sit here? Do we sit somewhere up there? Do we sit at the artist's, um, in the artist's boardroom? I don't know, it's very difficult to decide. I kinda like it upstairs better, actually. It's fun to look out over, over all this. Here's the fountain. Yeah, I was thinking earlier, oh, I wonder what the pool's like here. And then I realized it's still the dig site. Like, it's so funny how this feels like a brand new hotel, but actually we're still at Coronado Springs. Pepper Market and El Centro are still right over there. All the other, you know, cabanas and casitas and the dig site, like everything else is still here. But like, this is now added, which it feels like a different resort somehow. Like, I mean, I guess they, they sort of fit together, but I, I and it is still new, my, my mind. I just haven't wrapped my mind around it. What's down here? That's kind of fun. See, is this also from the cartoon? I feel like, I feel like that should also be from the cartoon. Like, there shouldn't just be the one lady from the cartoon. There should be more stuff, and then it would feel like, you know, you would really get a sense of the cartoon and who the characters in it are and, and what the artwork is like. Oh, here's the elevators down here. El Centro Convention Center, wait a minute. Does this connect through to, it must, so this, so this connects through to El Centro, so then we have to go outside, I guess. So we can get through to the pepper market. Yeah, look at this, oh my gosh, we're practically there already. So weird. So weird, Destino Plaza. It does make sense that they built this because Coronado has always been a huge conference resort and it has a huge conference center. Oh look, it's roped off though. I wonder why. Oh, I wonder if you can rent this space out. That would be very dramatic for like a cocktail reception. I feel like there should be something on these walls though. Like they look like a blank canvas waiting to be filled. Can we get out here? This looks like a weird door lock. There's that hallway. Wow, look at this. Up there is our Kronos Club. I 
You know what, actually, does our room look out this way? So the Kronos Club must be on the other side. Oh, this is fun. This is very artistic. See, I like all the art, art, artistic energy in the new Grandestino Tower. These are fab. That thing is new. That's a new restaurant. I'm probably all backlit, aren't I? But, and then there's El Centro over there. And here's this, this. Wow, look, it's too big even for my wide angle lens, which tells you it's very big. Because <laughs> my wide angle lens will fit a lot. Wait, I realized that I was actually overly zoomed in. So my wide angle lens, so my wide angle lens can just about fit it all. In the past they've rented bikes at um, Coronado. I feel like the bike rental is here, but maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it was somewhere else. So we, here we are, back in territory which is familiar. But gosh, this used to feel like so big, like the, you know, dome of the lobby. Didn't it used to be a brighter color? Maybe that made it feel bigger too. But now it's kind of dwarfed by, by its next door neighbor. Oh wow, is this? That's got um, plastic bags in the window, so maybe that's closed off. Oh, they must be changing up that um, entrance area. That was such a pretty hallway with the murals behind the front desks. This all looks very much the same, though. Here's Cafe Re. Oh, this looks a little different, doesn't it? Panchitos? I feel like this has had a bit of an update. Oh wow, look at this. Huh. Fernando Springs. Oh, here's the ear selection. I just realized it's not called the pepper market anymore. That is a shame. That's a crime actually. Oh. And those awesome, remember that giant like chicken man and like parrot man that were at the entrance like over there, they're gone. Ugh, I'm sorry. This is not as charming as the pepper market. I mean, the pepper market was iconic. When you have something as iconic as the pepper market, I mean, what a great name, the pepper market. Ugh, the Mercado? You change the name from the pepper market to the Mercado? I would walk over there, but I feel betrayed by the removal, by the rebranding, by the rebranding of the pepper market, and also I'm tired. So let's just go get a coffee and get our books and chill back at Grandestino. See, I haven't even memorized the name yet. I keep wanting to call it Grand Fiesta Tower. It's like, no, no, no. Grandestino. Oh, so here we're gonna do, or this is where the elevators are? No, we're not. Oh, here. Oh my gosh. Guys, I was literally walking straight towards the elevators and I thought they were off to the side. I need to get used to this. Okay. We're ordering up our E. E for Emma. Look at these crazy things. And then I have not gotten used to this at all. Like, I don't press the button. Is this the window that we can see Epcot out of? Look at that. I wonder what that's like. The Castillo suite. Where's Epcot? Epcot, where are you at? Oh wow, is that um, that's the water park. I don't see Epcot. That's the Animal Kingdom. Unless Epcot is right in front of me, which is possible. Or maybe it's out the other window, actually. I think we just all need to appreciate this perfect, like, gold bar presentation. Whatever cast member made this look like that. Bravo, props to you. What is this stuff? Oh, wow. Are these, oh, these are all the lounges and restaurants. So if you're thinking of going out to dinner, you can take a look at the menus. They have, if you're hearing Moana in the background, that's why, because she's right there. This really is quite a beautiful wall of windows. I like that, you see the Mickeys? Love the Mickeys. I really like this. It's sort of like a book corner. And actually there are all sorts of games in that thing, which is kind of cool. 
I like the Harry Potter, but they need Lord of the Rings. Oh, look! They have um, Lion, Witch in the Wardrobe, too. They don't have any, oh, wow. They don't have any Jane Austen, do they? I should have brought some to contribute. No club level is Emma approved until it has Jane Austen. Did you know the Animal Kingdom Lodge used to have books? Do they still? In um, the Kilimanjaro club level? And they had a copy of Emma by Jane Austen. Can we move on? Yeah. Not big fan. No. No. A lot of wild mushrooms in here. Too many what mushrooms? Is it onion? There's something in it that I find overpowering. Why did you give this? You can try to do Whoa. Well, muscle? Muscles. I want a muscle. Hit me up with a muscle. Muscle gang, roll up. Muscle gang, roll up. You see that? Merci beaucoup. Plant-based meatballs. See, I feel like they shouldn't be allowed to call them meatballs. There's no meat in them. Plant-based is not yet um, clear to me. My eye sees meatballs, not plant-based, and thinks there's meat. There's not. It might be delicious, but there's no meat. Some vegetables. Whoa, well, purple cauliflower. They had purple cauliflower at Tiffin's. I kind of love it. <laughs> Atha says that there's no alcohol in this, so I'm gonna like it. Well, I mean, I here, show me the label. It's taste. product of Spain. Strawberry juice from Congo. Whoa, who's on that? So I just watched a video on Korean Englishmen. I love that channel. And they went to in Korea a strawberry buffet, where like it was everything strawberry. It was incredible, like cakes, strawberry fondue. I want to go to Korea just to go to a strawberry buffet. Awesome. They should have this at it. Wow. That is a potent strawberry smell. It's very carbonated. It is very carbonated. There's a lot more carbonation than alcohol. You're right, I don't really taste the, like, it's not a very strong cider, it doesn't seem like. It says 4% alcohol. Per I, I taste more carbonation. There's pretty, pretty darn strawberry taste. No, there's a little, the strawberry taste is a little artificial, but. It's real? I like the concept. It is? Yeah. Oh. Strawberry juice is, is 6% strawberry juice from concentrate. And then there's sugar. And, um, the yeah. sugar, the sugar must be overwhelming the strawberry. Guys, I don't have anything on my face, do I? The guy came and gave us uh, real napkins, which is very nice. But I worried it might have been a hint of like, oh, you've got something on you. <laughs> I just want to eat a muscle. Do I get it out with my spoon? I would, well, if you can, you can try it. You might have a hard time. I literally just cracked it up. Is that pesto? Oh my goodness. Vaguely reminiscent of the scallop. What is as robust as a scallop? What can match? Let me tell you about a scallop. Bivalves. Matchless scallops. Can we not talk about bivalves while I'm eating a bivalve? I, I like don't even want to eat it. It's like a bacon and cheese flour. Is how I would describe okay. it. Did you try it? No. I didn't realize. Look at that sunset. Wow, they've got a little fire pit here. Oh my gosh. With pillows. I don't think it's lit though. That has got to be the swankiest fire pit that I've seen. I was sitting chilling in the lobby. Dart stops by and says, I'm going to go sit in a hammock. And I was like, that's a great idea. How did I not already think of that? They're not quite as good as Polynesian hammocks, but they're still pretty great. Gosh, this place is just so... Beautiful. The colors and the sunlight and the plants. I see some hammocks with our name on them.
feels like dessert. Wow, this isn't just dessert. It's like cheese and fruit and chips and salami and <laughs> chocolate mousse, strawberry mousse. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put the M&Ms on the mousse. That's what we're gonna do. Cookies. Oh, this is called Blanc de Blanc, white of whites. Should we have some? Maybe? Whoa, you're mixing. I like this method. There's method to this madness. It's good madness. Alright. How do I do this? Okay, so you're gonna shuffle it and then you're gonna okay. deal two cards face down to every player. And then how does solo shuffle it in the movie? Are people are allowed to look at their cards, but I don't want to bend tell them because they're brand have. new. Hey, you have to bend them to shuffle. It's okay. Like, they're supposed to look worn. Exactly. They're supposed to look worn. You're right. I should throw them all out the window and then collect them again, and then they'll be ready. This all right. Okay, so you're gonna deal two to each of us. Dad, you in? Are we all in? Okay, I'll try one. And then you're going to. Okay. So two to each. Then you put that in the middle. Let's and get it, man. Take the top. Game is played three rounds. Each player takes one turn per round. So Idiots array. That's what we're looking for. Are the instructions in basic? <laughs> no, no, but the numbers are difficult to figure because, like, you see how they have convoluted. But I want zero points. Yes, when you so play, I don't you want to get want, zero. I want to get rid of the ones with the high point value. Yes, but just so you know what point each one oh, of those okay, is. Oh, okay, the lower points are all more Yeah, those are easy, looking. but the 7, 8, 9, 10, just so you know what they look like. That's but, what Han had at the end. That's what Han when do I When do I reveal that I've won? <laughs> or maybe I'm bluffing. What did you reveal that you won? <laughs> you should hide your cards more. Apparently there's an option to jump, which literally just means to quit. But it's in the rules. I don't know why they bothered to do that. I'm gonna stay. So, so I roll the dice. Is it a double? No. no. it's not. So now we are on the final round, round three. Oh my gosh. They're going at about the same time. Oh my goodness. Which one do we watch? I'm so torn. When have you ever seen this? Oh, come on, focus. Stay in focus. Oh, that's not staying in focus. Oh my gosh. is rising over the Kronos Club. It's time for some breakfast. Look at this. This is oatmeal and then the toppings and oh my goodness. <gasps> you guys, it's not just Mickey waffles. It's mini waffles. Oh my gosh, I am so pumped right now. That is adorable. I don't think I've ever even seen mini waffles. I'm staggered, and we haven't even looked at all the breakfast offerings. 
Obviously, we need one of these. <laughs> Presentation is important. I've got more of everything that I've got. Some morning coffee and juices. How am I even supposed to eat this? Look at how cute it is. <laughs> Spreading the Mickey butter on the mini waffle. That's a lot of butter. I probably didn't need two cuts of it. <laughs> The, don't you think I match this lounge? Yep. The colors? I'm kind of bummed. Athos is coming back over with his plate and my GoPro is sitting on the table and he bent down to say hello to it but it wasn't filming. So say hello to the Bookish Kingdom. It's Athos. Bookish Kingdom loves Athos. So we're having a lovely breakfast here in the Kronos Club. Whatever part of my heart was not completely won over by the Kronos Club, as soon as I saw those mini waffles, I was sold. I love this place. This place is amazing. I've never seen mini waffles. I mean, even Mickey waffles. The Grand Floridian in Royal Palm Club is like one of the only places I've ever seen Mickey waffles. They don't have whipped cream, sadly. I liked how Atheist came up to me earlier and was like, so you have whipped cream. Do you have whipped cream? No, no. I, do, I don't carry it around with me. That wouldn't surprise me, but I actually don't. Pull the can out of your purse. Pull the can out of my purse. <laughs> Athos was saying that, um, Oh, that vlogger, the, the big one, has a secret catchphrase that people say when they see him. Yeah, that, well, like, obviously the only people who would recognize me are my people, so we don't need a secret catchphrase, <laughs> but I feel like we should have one, and maybe it could be something like, how was the cupcake, you know? I don't know. Although, see, I'm so literal that the problem is, if someone said to me, how is the cupcake out of the blue, I would be like, what cupcake? Where? And then, and then they'd be like, no, Emma, I'm, I'm bookish kingdom. Remember, you, you told me to say this. And then I'd be like, oh. I met the sweetest family that up to you. Chris, Erica, Chase, and Dee. It was so, so much fun meeting you guys. And I also met Rachel. So hi, Rachel. It's always so fun to be able to say hi to you guys in person and to like, you know, because online you just see a number of people that watch the video and maybe, you know, get some comments, but it's so fun when you, like, actually get to meet people in person. But they said, oh, isn't this your first time at the Kronos Club, which shows an impressive memory because I have done a video of the Kronos Club and the new Grand Casino Tower, but my family actually stayed here. Um, I wasn't able to come along on that trip, but I asked my mom to film a bunch of clips, so I did upload the video, um, even though I hadn't experienced it myself. So it was kind of funny coming here because it felt like I had the same experience a Bookish Kingdom subscriber might have where first I watched the video, I also edited the video, <laughs> but then I thought in person it's like, oh this was similar, this was different. It's been such a fun stay though. This really is a lovely, lovely club. And gosh, this view is something else, isn't it? It's like nowhere else can you get this view. Here, I don't think we looked at um, the Epcot ball I couldn't find yesterday. There it is, right down there. Breakfast of champions. We chef. We chef. There's also an, one with the American flag on it, but I can't remember. Oh, it's Libertad. It's the other one. The French yogurt is good. Usually I go for the chocolate chip cookies, but these are amazing. I need to make sugar cookies at home and like put these weird little sugar crystals on top because they're 
so good. This was cheese with some kind of pickly thing on top. I did like it. This, we couldn't determine what it was. It was toast with something, some kind of spread. No, it's not chocolate though. It's some kind of, like maybe, like not peanut butter, but like maybe some other nut butter. That's my guess, and these. So it's a little known fact, but I absolutely love beets. I'm a huge beet fan. I thought these were so, so delicious. 